Kayla Braxton is certainly one of the highlights of WWE's interview sections as she has gained a huge following. This is especially thanks to her hilarious relationship with Paul Heyman. It seems she had a distressing incident with a stalker. Miss Braxton also loves taking care of herself and always makes sure she looks the best she possibly can. However, this has led to some misunderstandings from time to time. As Kayla Braxton is very popular, it can also attract the bad kind of crowd. This includes a stalker who has harassed her for a long time. Braxton took to Twitter and revealed that an obsessed fan was convinced they had a romantic relationship with Braxton because they talked to a cat Fisher, who posed as Braxton. Braxton had to block the fan 14 times on Twitter. I've had to block the same person on here using different usernames, and I'm not exaggerating here 14 times I've counted. This person is convinced we have a romantic relationship because they're talking to someone who is pretending to be me. Both sides of this, please stop. Unfortunately, catfishing is a very common occurrence nowadays on social media and we advise fans to be vigilant and exercise caution in order to avoid getting tricked as well. Boom! Former Canadian ice hockey player, and, present TNT hockey analyst Rick Tockett, recently ended up in the same hotel as WWE champion Brock Lesnar. They snapped a photograph together alongside other Canadian legends, making it a photograph every sports fan in Canada will love to see. Canadian ice hockey players, Paul Biz Bissonette, The Great Gretzky, aka Wayne Gretzky, and television sportscaster Liam McHugh, posed with Brock Lesnar and the WWE Championship belt at the hotel bar. This is not only the photograph of two Canadian legends who have reached the pinnacle of their respective sports. It also showcases the change in Lesnar over the years. Getting him to smile, pose, and take a photograph would have sounded impossible when he was younger and the top heel of WWE. But now, the new farmer persona he has adopted, showcases a different side of him. This is something the fans deserve to know. Boom. Finally, we are in 2022, and many WWE superstars celebrated New Year's Eve with their friends and family. One such superstar who certainly enjoyed herself on New Year's evening is Alexa Bliss. Bliss welcomed 2022 in a grand style. The former WWE Raw Women's Champion enjoyed the New Year evening with her fiancé, Ryan Cabrera. Ryan Cabrera started dating Alexa Bliss back in early 2020 and they got engaged in November 2020. Recently, the couple shared some heart-melting pictures of themselves on social media. They certainly look like a perfect match. On the occasion of New Year, Alexa Bliss took to Instagram and posted pictures of her celebration with Ryan Cabrera. It looks like the former Raw Women's Champion certainly enjoyed herself. Hopefully, her fans will also enjoy themselves following Alexa's return to WWE. There isn't any official announcement on Alexa's return to WWE, but we hope she returns to action soon in 2022. Boom! Bobby Lashley is one of the most legitimate athletes to have competed in the world of both MMA and pro wrestling. For a long time now Lashley has made it clear he wants to face off against Brock Lesnar in any way possible. It seems Lashley's dream will finally come true. Even fans themselves have wanted nothing more than for the two behemoths to finally square off inside the squared circle. Lashley made it clear on numerous occasions he wants to face the beast. The match did not happen for a lot of reasons, mostly due to Brock Lesnar's feud with Roman Reigns. Some fans were also concerned about the fact that it might be too little too late for the match to even happen. At the WWE Day 1 pay-per-view, Brock Lesnar won the WWE Championship after defeating Big E, Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, and Bobby Lashley. Lashley was the only superstar who had Lesnar's number on numerous occasions. After Lesnar's win, Bobby Lashley took to Twitter and sent a warning to Brock Lesnar, making it clear that the time for their match has come. As reported earlier by Ringside News, WWE is finally planning a feud between Lashley and Lesnar as well. We will have to wait and see how it will be booked in the coming weeks. Boom. You never know what can happen at a WWE live event, and some fans feared that Sasha Banks might have suffered an injury. It turns out that she is going to be okay. It was thought that Sasha Banks hurt her leg in some way as she planted herself awkwardly in the ring. This took place after an over-the-knee backbreaker from Charlotte Flair. Sasha Banks kicked out of a pinfall attempt after the move, but then she stayed on the mat, as the referee checked on her. The match continued and then Charlotte retained her title. The report from last night's live event said that Banks was then helped to the back by officials. 
She was later examined and it turns out that she's going to be okay. The boss later updated fans with, I'm good, thank you for the love always. It turns out that Sasha Banks is going to be okay after all. This is great news, because WWE certainly doesn't need to lose any more members of their roster at a time like this.